What's up, guys? Um, my name is Sean Wright from Miami, Florida. Um, I'm going to give you a little lesson today, but this lesson is going to be a little different than most because I'm just going to be transparent, you know, act like you guys have known me for a long time. And anybody that knows me knows that I'm not very savvy when it comes to uh, rudiments and always knowing exactly what I'm playing. So I'm not going to sit here and, and do the whole rudiment talk and act like I know a bunch of these, a bunch of these patterns when I don't. Honestly, I don't, I don't know the names of them. So when I give this lesson, you know, all you uh, drum heads that know how to uh, jot this stuff down and write it out, go ahead and write it out in the comments. But today, I'm gonna be talking about stretching out patterns. Now, for me, this is very important because this is essentially how I do all of my stuff. Everything that I do is a pattern. Probably. 98% of the stuff that I do is, is a pattern from something else that I took <clears throat> and it started as one thing and it ended up being something totally different because of how I stretched it out. We'll start with this. Um, like I said, I don't know the term, the terminology, but just bear with me because I'm going to break it all the way down and explain to you how to stretch this pattern out. So I started out, one of my patterns is this. did was I threw a kick in between and this is this is when I uh, this is when it kind of changed you know the kind of vibe of it because you go from you got a totally different feel from Taking a, a four four fill and making it odd time, going from and when you grasp this concept to just because uh, all it takes is thinking in your head, what could I do to stretch this pattern out from just being four beats or however many beats it is? In this in this case, it's four. Let's put a kick in between my right hand and my left hand. Then I say, hey, let's stretch it out even more. Let's take it out of odd time and put it back in even time. Let's do two kicks instead of one. And you got this. Now you got a pattern that's in six. Three totally different patterns that give you three totally different feels. play all of them together so you can hear the, the difference. We'll start. And that's a good tempo. So I'm going to play all of them. Okay, the, ne the next thing I'm going to show you is how to come out of it. So, if you make this like a, a two bar feel, you never, being that it's such a, you know, intricate, you know, kind of feel, you don't have to really end it in a crazy way. You can end it with just singles on the hand. So you can go from. And then the pattern with the two kicks same thing, just add as many single notes it takes to finish to get back to the one.
way, this the reason why I kind of did it different at different times is because it's not really a thought. Like I said, there, there's people that map it out, and that's how they play, you know, which is dope. It's just for me, when I play, I never really think about when it's when I'm gonna start doing singles. I could I could only do that. I could do that feel for like, you know, two go arounds, and then just do singles the whole time, or I'll do that pattern the whole time until I only have like a few beats left to do one or two uh, single notes. So it all depends on just how I'm feeling. Sometimes it may be. depends on what what feels good to you at that at that very moment it's not always about necessarily mapping it out and that's what this lesson is for is to build you towards you know just being being a little more free I'm not saying you're not free right now but I'm just telling you uh, you know the the secrets to how I play you know it's it's a feeling so um, that's why I'm giving you this stuff just so you can go and build your own licks and do licks that are better than mine you know yeah, just don't don't think about it when you choose to end it. Just make sure you end it and hit that one. It's my only it's my only stipulation. <laughs> but yeah, that's all you need to do. So I forgot to do the first pattern. So we got this one. We got that one. And we have We got that one. I forgot to do the be the easiest one to get. You see stuff like that, like, in my head I may be like, hmm, let's add a kick with that, and let's move Let's move this. Let's move it here. All feeling. Right back to them singles. <laughs> but see, it's, it's, it's all concepts to, you know, you could build. You can do whatever with that, you know. You could leave it up here. Up, but I'm just trying to, you know, show you that you can stretch that as far as you can stretch it. That's so many licks. Take patterns and stretch them out. Add kicks to them. Add extra right hands, extra left hands, or take some hands out sometimes. Take a kick out, take a right hand out, and you'll have this arsenal of a bunch of patterns. And it'll seem as if you got this, you got all these chops in the world, but really your secret is it's a bunch of patterns. That, because that's my secret. I secretly don't really have that many licks. I just, I stretch out my patterns. Another pattern I stretch out, just real quick one. Uh, basically stemming from this. to show you how uh, I can stretch out one pattern and it can turn into so many other things. You know? So, stretch them patterns out. <laughs>